Now, I still get the question in my comment section, how do you make your videos? Short answer, I use Camtasia. But why I'm making this video is because Camtasia has just released a free online screen recorder. Here, I'm on the website, techsmith.com solutions screen recording. I'll leave a link in the description to this long link and it'll be much easier for you to find it. Now, when you're here, you can click on start recording now. This is not the same as the full downloaded version of Camtasia that I use. Now, the one I use has a lot more options. It is the paid version. However, let's see what the free version has on offer. If you do not have a Camtasia TechSmith account yet, go ahead and create one. This online recorder is completely free. I'm going to continue with my own account. Let's create a new account. This is not my paid account. And there we go. We are now in the main interface. It is loading its program. It's completely web-based. In other words, this will work on Mac, Linux, Windows, as well as Chromebooks. So if you're on a Chromebook and you're in need of a good recorder, this is the one. Now here, when we start, we have three options. We can have our screen. This will ask me to share a screen. I have my camera. This is the camera only view. So you have many different ways of seeing your camera feed. It uses the webcam, as you can see here. I have various predefined setups. You can see here lots of different ways that I can present my camera or I can customize it at the bottom, choose my own background and choose my own variation of the camera with even some effects if I choose to use those. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to go back. I'm going to select the screen and camera option. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. We're going to click on screen and camera and I'm going to select my entire screen. In other words, I'm going to create a video of the video creator. Let's select my entire screen and click on share. I am now sharing and recording my entire screen and you can see it's already getting things ready there. So it says start recording to begin. My camera feed is there in the right hand side. I want it to look a little bit different. So let's just choose the setup I prefer. I think I quite like this setup. Let's go with this setup. This is great for demonstration videos. And if I'm honest, I could easily record my videos just using this online screen recorder. Once you're ready to go, you can turn your microphone on, camera on, screen on, and then you simply click on start recording in order to start your recording. Let's go ahead and click on record. It gives you that countdown. Two, one, and we are now recording. Now it's recording my full screen. So what I can do is I can open a new tab and I can show you how to go to Gemini.com. So let's go ahead and open up Gemini.com. I'm going to demonstrate what this looks like. Do I want to use Imogen 4 now? No, thank you. And I'm going to say, tell me about Camtasia. Let's see what Gemini knows about Camtasia. So here we see Camtasia, a comprehensive software suite developed by TechSmit. As you can see, Gemini is well aware of what Camtasia has to offer. Now we're going to go back to our recording and what you will see here at the bottom is it gives me a countdown of how many five minute sections or scenes I have. Now, what you might be wondering now is what? Does that mean I can only record five minute videos and I need more for my teachers? No problem. Once you've reached the five minutes, you can simply click on add a scene and add another five minute scene. You can add multiple scenes after each other. For as far as I'm aware, there is no limit set at this moment. So Camtasia allows you to put together all those five minute scenes and then create a video. Once you're happy with this, and this is where the real power of Camtasia's online editor comes in, at the top, you will see there is an option to collaborate. When I click on collaborate, I can now give people access to my project. So here I can enter a collaborator's email. They can then add their scene into my project. We can now collaborate on this project. I can also give them scene only access. In other words, they can only edit this one scene. They can't change any of the other scenes, which is great if you don't want them to delete previously created scenes. At the moment, I'm not going to give collaboration access, but what I am going to show you is how to export this video. So here we're going to click on export. This is now going to give me the option to push it out into the Camtasia editor, which will give me a lot more options. I can highlight my cursor, add in animations, all sorts of great things. But for now, I'm going to export to Screencast. Let's go ahead and click on this. 
This is going to then upload it into Screencast, render that video, and then I have a shareable link that I can share with other people. So let's just give it a minute. It is rendering my project. 100% finished with rendering. It is now sending it to Screencast, another TechSmith product. Okay, we can click on the view link. We can also copy that link, but let's go ahead and open up the view link. Here you can see we have our project. We can see the footage. We can turn off the audio and just simply press play. The video starts playing. We can leave reactions, which will become visible to the original creator. On the right hand side, we have a conversation window where we can start a conversation on this video as well. The settings, we can change the settings so we can have only people with the link, only us. We can allow viewers to fast forward the video or we can disallow that. Maybe we do not want them to skip ahead. We want them to watch the entire video in its entirety. We can do that as well. We can also give it an access phrase. And this is like a password where people have to put in that secret code, the secret phrase in order to access the video. This is really good for onboarding videos or maybe some videos that you're sending out to your staff at the start of the school year with certain information you don't want generally available. It's not sensitive, but you do want them to have access to a special phrase in order to access it. This then at the bottom shows us the participants, how many people have left comments, how many comments were left, and I can obviously download this data to keep it. Now, what else I can do on this main page is I can add a description, very similar to other video platforms. I can share it into a collection. This is like folders that you are keeping, or under more, you will see I can download the video file, change the thumbnail, delete the entire video or replace the media. In other words, upload it with a more up-to-date video without having to change all the settings again. We can also click on the share button to get access to that simple link. The embed tool can be used on any site, think Google sites or other websites that you might have where it allows you to embed content using the iframe format. This code can be put onto those websites and then you can also share your videos whilst still getting that data. But because this is stored on Screencast, unless you are downloading the video by clicking on those three dots and downloading the video, hosting it on your own server or on YouTube or another platform, Screencast at the moment, when you click on this icon here, we'll see they are on a free starter program where you can save up to 25 videos. If you wanted to upgrade to Pro, you can do that as well, which will give you a lot more storage. Again, links to everything will be in the description below. This is not a sponsored video, but I am a huge fan of Camtasia. So seeing this online option out there made my day. Now, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd use something like this, if you are in the market for a collaborative video platform. In the comment section below, that's where you can let me know. Now, if you are not yet a channel member or a Patreon supporter, do consider becoming a channel member so you can receive these videos before anyone else. Start that conversation in the comment section below and can be sure that I always see your comments first. If you want to get access to all the videos that are on YouTube completely, ad free patreon will be the place where you can get access to that as well as some additional files links and documentation to go along with all the videos in the meantime thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one